My client Dan made $30,000 from Facebook ads in the course of 45 days. I'm gonna break down exactly what he did to make the money, how it happened, and everything so that you can be able to go out there and duplicate exactly what he did. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Nick Carpenter, welcome back to the channel. Make sure that you like and subscribe comment on the video if you have you know any any feedback or any ideas of other idea you know other content that you'd like me to create and what we're going to do today is i'm going to break down exactly how my client dan in california made thirty thousand dollars in loan officer commissions excluding what his realtors made i think the total is somewhere around fifty thousand um, he made thirty grand in the course of about forty-five, maybe fifty days using Facebook ads, and we're going to break down exactly what he did. So let's jump in the computer. All right, so let's talk about exactly what Dan did to make thirty thousand dollars, so that you can go and duplicate this exact process. So basically, there's really there's kind of four steps that I'm going to show you here uh, on this on this video. So number one is we need to figure out a way to provide like massive value to realtors okay and obviously value it's almost a cliche word nowadays uh 2024 in the mortgage industry everybody thinks that everything is value and i mean obviously that's not true um but you can figure out some ways that you can demonstrate that you care about the agent and really want to help them okay so i'm going to show you a really simple thing that we're doing right now which is every tuesday okay and even actually, I could probably pull up and show you real quick um, exactly what we're doing. So let me show, let me just pull that up. All right. So if you do a Zillow search, in my case, I'm just going to use Parker, Colorado. Um, if you do a search, you come over here and you look at, under more on Zillow and you scroll down right here where it says must have an open house. Click that and you hit apply. And so you can see now that there's 42 results that are in Parker that have an open house schedule. I'm going to switch up to, you know, three bedrooms, two baths. So in this case, right here, here's an example, you know, uh, let's see on the market. Okay. So 1.1 million. Oh, that's pretty, that's a pretty good one. Right, I'm just taking a, just taking a gander here real quick at, so, all right. So we'll just use this as an example. Okay. So this house right here, you can see that it's for sale. It's $820,000. It's been listed on the market. Let's see. I was going to try to see 13 days on Zillow. And we could see that there is an open house coming up. Okay. So let me see. I know I just saw there a second ago that it said that there was a open house. So right here, you can see where the open houses are, right? Saturday, October 19th, Sunday, October 20th. Okay. 12 to four. It looks like 12 to four on both days. So if we come up here a little bit right here, we can see that this house is listed by Scott Elliott. Here's his email, which is insane that he's using a hotmail. Okay. At Keller Williams, Paul Strasberg. I don't know. Maybe that's the Keller Williams office, Paul Strasberg office. Okay. And it has this phone number here. Now, what I would do is I would probably just go and Google, you know, Scott Elliott, right? So in this case, I might look up like Scott Elliott, realtor. Denver or whatever. All right, so I don't know. So maybe that's him. Maybe that's him right here. Obviously, this is going to be him here. That looks like him right here as well. Sir Smelliot. Okay, wow, well, that's awesome. Okay, so I'm just looking right here. Okay, KW Imagineer. All right, sweet. So you can see here's all their stuff. Okay, so like they're just like the super gay group. So that's awesome. Okay, so Pride of Denver group. So in this case, right, we could just call him. Here's his phone number here. Okay, so Paul Strasberg, he must be like the team, the team lead. Okay. And so this, I'm just showing you an example of how, you know, during the week, like for Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday is the best day to do what I'm talking about right now. This is exactly what we've done with the, with Dan in California. Okay. Is we go and we look for houses that have an open house. Um, you could also post on social media and ask your um, Facebook friends if they have an open house this weekend, okay? But we want to go and search out open houses, ideally on like Tuesday, right? So again, you know, we're looking for the opens. And this is how we're going to like create an opening 
for ourselves is using is using the open house. Okay, so that's gonna be number one is go on Tuesday, find an open house. Now you need to have an offer for the realtors. Well, you can see that my ability to type with a with a mouse isn't the world's best, but so you need to have an offer for the realtors. Okay, now what do I mean by that? If you see they have an open house, you could ask them, hey, are you running a Facebook ad to get more people to show up at your open house? Okay, that's a simple, simple, um, you know, question, right? I will tell you that the vast majority of realtors do not run Facebook ads. They don't even know how to run Facebook ads. And that's okay, right? They're real estate experts. So the offer is going to be something like that, right? Like, hey, what if I help you run an ad? And all you have to do is put up a budget like $100 and I'll do everything else to generate the leads, send you the leads as they come in. Um, I'm going to handle all the back end. You just pay the $100 and we're going to rock this thing, okay? And they're going to be like, yeah, of course, that's that's like a no-brainer, okay? So if you make this offer on Tuesday, then on Wednesday, what we're going to do is we're going to run an ad. I'm just making an example if, this if the open house is on Sunday, right? So... We're going to run an open house ad that's going to go Wednesday to Sunday, and that's going to be like $25 a day, right? So that's about kind of like what our budget is going to look like. Now, what we're going to do is for that $25 a day, just depending on what type of ad you're running, how much information that you're getting, if you're using like complete LO and you're using our ads inside of complete LO, um, if you're getting just name, email, phone number, which... If you're running ads with a realtor for the very first time, that's my recommendation is get the most leads you possibly can for the cheapest you can get them. So in this case, if I ran an ad for $100 where it's like Wednesday to Thursday, Thursday to Friday, Friday to Saturday, Saturday to Sunday, that's going to be my $100 of spend around 25 bucks a day. And Probably that's going to give me somewhere in the range of like, at least I would say like 10 leads a day, right? Somewhere in that range. If I'm only asking for name, email, and phone number. Now, here's why this is really cool, okay? Is that means that 10 times a day right here, I get a chance to send a, an SMS email. I was trying to make that a SMS, but I totally screwed that up, right? So anyways, I get to text their phone with my information over and over and over all day. So 10 times a day, they're going to get a text message from me. It's like, hey, what's up, Sean? It's me, Nick. I've got another lead for you for 123 Easy Street. Here's their information. Happy hunting. Let me know if I, you know, let me know if I need to uh, reach out to them as well or whatever that wants, whatever you want that to look like, right? But 10 times a day, they're going to receive an email with your information, with another lead, another little value spike. And, and obviously you could also do emails as well, just depending on how you want to set that up. So in that case, 10 leads a day, that's 20 contacts a day, 20 contacts a day with a realtor, you know? Like how many days do you need like that where, they're just getting value stacked and value stacked and value stacked and you're giving and giving and giving, okay? Now, what happens and what we want to occur is that we want to create a lopsided relationship. So in this case, they're going to be like over here, way up in the sky, okay? And this is going to be us over here, okay? And this is what happens over time is over the course of these days, you're reaching out and you're offering them new leads. You're obviously doing so much to grow their business. You're providing so much value and, and support. And that is unusual for a lender. Now, this is exactly what we did with Dan. We reached out to some realtors. We got them to pay the budget for the ads. We sent them five, 10, 15 leads per day. And every time we send them a lead, we're able to text the agent and reach out to them that way. We're able to email the agent. It also gives Dan some reasons a couple of times a week to call the realtor and go, man, today's been insane, right? We got like 15 leads today. This is nuts, okay? And, and so all this is in benefit to support the agent and their open house happening over the weekend. 
Now, what happens naturally is that we're able to tick that relationship where we're providing more value to the relationship than the realtor is. And nobody wants to be in a lopsided relationship. And so what happens is we the, the realtor subconscious is going to start looking for opportunities for you because of the fact that you've done so much, they want to get back even. And in a realtor loan officer relationship, I mean, because of the way that, you know, this relationship started, which is like, it's a business relationship. I'm a lender. You're a realtor. Let's do some work, right? The only thing that makes any sense to get back even is for them to find a client for you, okay? So how did Dan turn all of this into um, into $30,000, okay? Well, again, we ran two campaigns, okay? This exact process right here, reaching out to the realtors a ton, okay? Realtor number one sent Dan, I wrote it down over here because I want to make sure I said the numbers correctly, sent Dan a client for $540,000, okay? So closed them up. It was a buyer. It was a sign call. It wasn't even from the Facebook ads, Okay, wasn't even from the Facebook ads. It was just a sign call. Okay, number two, realtor sent Dan a client that ended up buying a house for 630000 Okay, so between client one, client two, between those two realtors that sent Dan deals to get back even off of all this work that he's doing for them, it's like $1.17 million in business. Right now, what's awesome, obviously, Dan has some software. He's using complete LO, like I mentioned. So he's got a little software cost. But outside of that, the realtors paid for the ads. The realtors sent him the free deals. I mean, like, it's a pretty sweet system, you know? Um, so again, this is how Dan did it. Um, this is exactly how he made $30,000 using Facebook ads, even though these leads did not even come from the Facebook ads right? It was just, it's just a way of value stacking in such a way and being able to have such close communication with realtors over the course of a few days or a week that it's, it, you can build that lopsided relationship. They start looking for, for deals for you. And this is how you can make money from Facebook ads, even if the leads themselves are not converting. Okay. Uh, if you want to get into more on this, like how exactly to do this again, completelo.com. That's the software that I'm using. I think if you look in the description, I've got a link with um, like my personal link that'll get you at the best deal uh, possible. Um, and, and, you know, so that could be a service for you, right? Check out complete LO. I, you get like a 14 day free trial. So you can get enough chance to play around with it and, and see if you love it or hate it. Um, but it's a cool way of going and providing value, building relationships with realtors, having a ton of communication with them, a lot of um, interactions, right, over and over and over, where we can expose them to your name and phone number and these things, you know, repeatedly. And so we can build the value up. We can get the deals. Obviously, we want the Facebook ads to convert. We want to get business off of that as well. And that always happens. Um, but also what usually occurs is exactly what happened in this case where the first deal that you do with an agent that you're running Facebook ads for, um, the, the first deal actually usually does not even come from the ads. It comes from an agent referral because of all the value stacking that you're able to do for them, right? And all the contacts and the obvious support and help that you're providing to grow their business. So again, if you want to use the software we're using, check out completelo.com. Otherwise, there's tons of ways that you can do this. Or of course, you can set the ads up directly in Facebook. If you need support for this type of stuff and also for, you know, just in general realtor attraction, how to get more deals from your database and also how to use a really simple one hour, once a month live event to um, grow your referral partner network. Uh, that's what we're doing inside the Legion of Loan Officers. Check us out there. Again, there's a link in the description below, legionofloanofficers.com slash intro. We can jump on, meet each other, see if we're a fit or not. Um, if you love these videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Drop me a like, drop me a comment. Let me know what you want me to make a video on next. And I really appreciate you being here. See you next time. Peace.